Is there any one speculative investment, win or loss, that, that you've done that you can remember that's had a profound effect on you? So I'd say that in my, in my early career, uh, when I was working uh, at, at the hedge fund of funds, my, my first job, um, we, the, it, was, it was an excitable time in the hedge fund industry at that moment in time and less, less, less regulated, no doubt, uh, some would say more, more, more exciting, a wider range of scenarios. And we did come across um, two or three funds which actually ultimately turned out to be, um, to be frauds. And one of them is, was the very well-known, uh, subsequently, uh, Bernie Madoff uh, situation. Now, I, I realise in hindsight how that situation did influence how I thought about things because, as it happened, the company that I worked for at that moment in time had a significant investment in one of the feeder funds. And what we thought we would do is we would uh, up the sort of intellectual insight, the, the due diligence requirements, and we would say, we need to meet the company management teams, the investment teams of all of our investments. It seemed a very sensible thing to do. So we planned a business trip to America and we had a list of all the company, and obviously this, this feeder fund or the Bernie Madoff empire was, was high up on that list. So anyway, we worked through some intermediaries who, who were uh, known to us in, in London, and they said, yes, um, they, they can meet with you, but uh, it has to be just on a Tuesday in, in the afternoon, after market hours at a particular cafe. Okay, seems a little bit strange, but, um, oh, and they said, yeah, there was one other, one other rule, you can't ask about the fund. So we, we, we had this advice and my, my then boss and I looked at each other and we just said, well, this is crazy. I mean, whilst it's pleasant to have a coffee or something with somebody, you can't talk about the fund, that's just mad. So we actually sold the stock. We, we sold the, the, the holding in this, this Bernie Madoff feeder fund. And actually the clients uh, didn't understand it. They, they, they complained or were, were worried about why on earth this was. And this was back in um, uh, the late 90s, I think it was 1997 or 1998, a long time ago. And it was funny how many, many years later, um, the, uh, the situation with, with Bernie Madoff happened and, and events blew up and things like that. And I, I sort of, I smiled wryly at that, thinking to myself, well, I'm sure that nobody had really met him on a very conventional footing. And, and I realised that the importance of doing due diligence, of actually getting to grips with something properly, and when you don't get those good vibes, or even the most basic set of information that allows you to make a decision, you should walk away. And even though in the case of that Bernie Madoff investment, uh, the returns were great and they continued to be very good for, for many years afterwards, and obviously ultimately it ended badly for people, don't worry about that. You know, your disciplines, your self-disciplines, your self-insights, the, the ability to sleep well at night, all of these routines that you go through matter so much more. And when I look back now, that, that event actually was, was very indicative of that. And even though I couldn't have imagined how it would end up, I realised that having that approach has, has certainly saved me from other situations and, and helped me throughout my investment career.